two, number three. Okay, so you're number one yellow, number one white, and so on and so on. If I shout number two yellow, you drop back to the yellow cone at the back. Go for it, quick as you can. Boom. What do we now have? I'm going to give you guys the ball. What have you got in front of you? 3v2. Where's the space? Right in the middle. But what do we have in the backfield? 3v1. 3v2 plus 1. Okay, so I've walked through it. So if I give you guys the ball now, what have we got to do? Right, if you get there, Lee, stop. What are you going to do? Drift. Okay, right, that's fine, but just so we know. Okay, do we. Okay, right, that's fine. So we've got that. Ultimately, we're trying to score on the, on the line that Chris and the guys are standing on. Okay, so we always finish with a try. So up we come in the middle. We're going to run this three times before I give any feedback. Okay, right, ball to me, because you might not have it. Up we come. Ready, white one, play. Back to your cone. Good, that's fine, play. Oh, oh good there, that's Very good on the first one. Okay, well done. I have a needle. Okay, reset. Well done. So, ready? Yellow three. Oh, okay, stop there, reset. We'll go one more. White two. Oh, okay. Here we come. Right, you guys. Give me some feedback. Go back to your cones, guys. Listen to your coaches. They're going to give you some feedback. Remember, the aim of our session is what? So scanning, finding space, passing, and scoring. So, as part, so what, what part of our session does that fall into? Right. Scanning part, yeah, good, right, so what are the cues that we're wanting these guys to think? Remember on skill acquisition in this session, so what cues are they looking for? So they're looking for the, so if I send yellow two back, what does that create? Like the space, so that's the space, we're going to manipulate that space. Now if that space changes, what then has to happen? They have to change, they have to then communicate that, so it's that scan, talk, listen, part of that. Okay, so we're really quiet people. Okay, so well, I want us to stop it. Communication wise, so when you see that hole, I'm going to condition the next time we do the practice. So you must stay on your line. So what am I doing? So, no, you attack, you can run wherever you want. Defense, you must stay on your tracks. Okay, at the moment, we're going to make it real easy to start with, okay? So what am I making the cues? Make it really simple, that's where the gap is, but I want, it's no score if you don't communicate it. Okay, ready, white, three, play. Right, so that wouldn't have been a score, why? You weren't communicating where the gap was. What did I say to you? Yeah. Remember when you scored a try? What did I want the guys in the wood to hear? If you've got a chance to score a try in a game day, what do you want to do? I want everyone to know that I can score a try. What are you going to do if there's a hole in front of you? You are going to scream like someone's trying to stick a knife in your back. All right, As loud as you can, so he knows, he knows, they know, because if you're screaming, what might he do? He might go across, and then it's an easier hole. We then go, okay, so we want to be really loud. Okay, white one, play. Where's the space, where's the space, where's the space? Yeah, go, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. I can't take him, right? You can't, yeah, just, just for that. They're not moving, so you can Yeah, yeah, just go, all right? So, it, so we've made it really simple to start with. Real simple facts, what are we? So, really simple. So what am I looking for? What's the pressure? What, what's the pressure element of this? There is still a pressure because if there wasn't a pressure, what would you have done straight away? Boom, straight through, boom, I'm through the hole. So what is the pressure? <laughs> Time. I'm, I'm calling it and then throwing the ball straight away. So what have we not got a lot of? 
So if I go white two, boom, real easy now. Okay, so I've taken all the pressure out. Is that going to develop cues? No. All right. So I'm going to increase the pressure again. Right. So I'm going to increase the time pressure. Ready? Yellow three. Wait. Stop, stop, stop. Well done. Right, good. So we've had a change. So we've had that. Jogging back, guys. I'm going to increase the pressure again now. Okay. So we scored a try. That counts. I'm going to increase the pressure again. Okay. Defenders, you can now come off your line. You can come forward as soon as I call. You're going to really try and shut down the attack. Whoever gets the ball. Stay in the channel. No, you can go anywhere. All right. As soon as that, as soon as the number's called. The guy that goes back, goes back, the other two can play. Okay, ready? Yellow one! Come around. Good, fine, score there. Right, good. Okay, we're going to increase the pressure again. Okay. Yellow three! Awesome. I got it. Boom, well done. So what was the change there? First receiver. Okay, first receiver. Change where the ball came from. Okay. Right, I'm going to make it easier again. Big fella, pick the corner. Bring it out for me. Bring that one out for me. Bring that one one step. Okay, ready? Point two. <laughs> Okay, we were, okay, that's fine. Okay, reset, we'll go again. Yellow three! Come on, buddy! Okay, so why, why is that being made easier? What's bigger? Space, okay? So now, what do we have? Why are they not getting success now? So we're scanning, we're, getting, we're, we're, we're identifying the space, but what are the defenders doing really well? The pressure. So if I go white two, a uh, yellow two, and I take this spot. So he's away, what must I do? So if I go early, he's going to go, isn't he? Right. Then there's the gamble that I'm going to react to get it back. What's the easiest thing that I can do here? So if I take him, I need to engage this player. Then what happens? Who has to make the decision? This guy. So if he stays white, boom. If he comes in, it's the easiest thing for me now. Skip pass, this pass, so I can either go behind or I can go in front, okay? What have I eliminated? A pass. A pass. So I've eliminated variables by doing that, okay? so. What are the skill components that we're picking up there? So go wide again. So it's the pass option, the scan. So who's got to communicate? You two. Okay, so I've done my job. I've fixed him. Yeah, sure plan. Back. Okay, and then I've picked the right option. Okay, so we're increasing what we're doing. All right. So what we want to do now is I want even to what we come. If I shout. White one, I want the first, I'm going to condition the game now that I want the ball receiver, the first receiver, to engage a defender. So if I go yellow one, go. Right, I can't take the space. I'm going to engage you. So what now happens? What am I forcing to happen? Henry's got to do four. He's got, so if Henry sees me, what's the cues that he's picking up now? He's picking up the switch because he's seeing that oh, Andy's going ball. sideways. If I go on the switch, okay, hopefully. What am I looking for? What are my cues? So we'll drop, rewind, rewind, Henry. All right. So I'm going to take that space. I've gone sideways. What am I looking for now? Mike is taking you. So if Mike stays real there, so he's got his hips there. I'm going to fend and go because his hips are where. He's facing that way, so he's in a weak position. Okay, and I think he might bounce onto Henry. If he goes and squares up onto me, I'm going to give that pass. So we're now developing what? All conditions are off. Okay, first receiver can do what they want. 
but I want us to score in the least amount of passes we can. What's the least amount of passes? Zero. Zero. If we can score in zero, we score with zero. So that would be what? Running. Running. Boom. Take the space. Run. Go through the space. Remember that hierarchy of contact um, of um, continuity. Sorry. So first stage was what? <laughs> Run. Beat the defender. Second stage was. Third stage was. Boom. Okay, so we want to score in the least amount. So I'm going to give you five points. For every pass you make, you lose a point. Okay, we're going to do best of three. Okay, white one. Andy, you're shot. Right, Andy, you're in. Okay. Oh, terrible, terrible. Ready. White two. Whoa, nearly, no points. Reset. Okay, reset, reset. New ball on Gary. Ready? Yellow three. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. Remember, we always score. Always score. Okay, don't, did, I, did I put a stipulation on the touch? No. No. So we yeah, always, what's there. this third in the hierarchy of continuity? Yeah. Offload. Okay. So how is it? Are we holding the... No, no. Just a touch. Okay. Because we want to get what? Scores. Scores. Success. We want to experience that success. Okay. <laughs> what's the limiting factor? The number of? Passes. Passes. Okay. Because it reduces our score. Okay. Yellow one. Wait, go, 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 yellow one, get away, get away, get away! Touch! Oh, oh, yeah. We're gonna do one more, because that's three and it's nil nil. Alright? Okay, yellow one. One more. <laughs> You're always cheating, Edwin. Ready? Wait, two! Drop your drop. Good, off one. Good, that's one, two, three. Score! Oh, oh, two points win the game. So, if we line up again, if we line up our set up our uh, exercise again, okay. So let's 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 take for example here that Andy shouts like yellow one, and uh, if you sorry if you drop back to oh yeah yellow one. And uh, we might have a fast scrambling defender here, so if I just attack straight down, what's likely to happen? They come across. Right, likely to come across to me, it might make it. So so then I'm thinking, right, I'm going to make a pass, but what's this defender in all likelihood going to do outside him? Let's yeah. too. Yeah, so he's going to he's gonna probably come in and close <laughs> that gap. He's going to probably take out my easiest option, isn't he? So then what am I left with? Carry. Yeah, Red. either carrying a defender or a really difficult pass under pressure to that last person. What's another alternative that I could do as a player rather than just run straight there? So the space. Run mm -hmm. towards him. The, the space is there, the right? The, the space is there. That that's fine. But what other alternative could I have rather than just running straight at that Put speed? Put the ball in the centre so he's got to engage space? that first defender there so you retain this space. Yeah, okay, that's one option. So I can give him it. Or other option would be? B. You run back? Yeah, so that's the option. So if I run here, what's the benefits of that? You keep him oh, there. Yeah, I'm, I'm maintaining that him, space, haven't I? So it's about, as Andy said earlier, Henry is going to come and he's going to read those cues if I take your space as a player, I've taken your space, you should take mine. Because that's the space that's just opened up. Also, what's the benefits of running into the middle? See, there's three defenders, but what's the benefits of running at the middle rather than running down the yeah, side? Right options. Yeah, you've got two sides. So say, for example, I go to the middle, I run the switch, Henry breaks through. Once again, if Henry runs straight down the side, how many options has he got? One. What happens if he attacks the middle? Guys on both sides makes life much easier, doesn't it? Sorry for hijacking. No, 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 real good point, Gary. Real good. And and then the last the last point I was just going to put in this before we move on to the next one. What can we do to manipulate defenders 
even so even if I left three on three, what do we then have to do to manipulate the defenders? Feet and changing our what? Running lines, angles. Okay, so if I if I run here, fix him, get on the outside, he's not gonna knock me over like he's already done. Alright. So I get here, what's Henry's option? So if Henry comes in here on that tight, okay, boom. I've committed this guy, I've got between us. Is Henry gonna get over gain line? You would you would imagine so, okay? Because of the line that he's picked, that's a hard jam in tackle. Okay, if Henry, so again, if I commit, first receiver, get in here, Henry hits the tight, what do you then have to do? You've done it already. You've changed your line, haven't you? You've not stayed out in the cone. So if Henry's good enough, he's got past, okay, what can Henry get in? Offload, and he's on Struggle Street to get there. He's, this defender's really going to be padding in. But what does it involve us actually doing? Reading what? So what's the cue? What was the cue there? If there's a three on three, and I've done this, boom, Henry's red, what? If I keep the ball, what's going to happen? I'm probably going to hospital for the night, okay? So Henry's going to go, he's went, right, he can't throw a big pass, he's got a man going to tackle him, I'm coming in tight, and I'm going to hit the hole, so that this guy can't get a dominant tackle, Okay, I've put this guy square, he's committed to me, I'm going to hit the hole so there isn't. So the cue then changes from what? The space, because there is no space, to what? To what I'm doing. So the cue's now what I'm doing, what he's doing, where the ball is, where the space is. So what have we then done? We've put in a lot more what? Pressure. Pressure, good. Okay.